In tonight's cover story, sometimes when you're looking for something specific, you end up finding something, well, even more precious. And as WGN's Mike Lowe reports, that's what's happened when one Ravenswood business owner started restoring old furniture and instead stumbled upon Chicago history. You can't find treasure without a hunt. I love the hunt. It's my favorite thing to do. I love going on the road. Chris Murphy's treasure map leads him to places near and far. I've gone as far as Key West, Florida. Loved going through the small town America, finding that little antique store in the middle of the town where no one really knows what they have. Today, it's a South Holland thrift shop, a barn of bargains, where the floorboards groan under a hefty menagerie of merchandise, from books to bras to bikes on beams, and from leopard print heels to coats on wheels. But Murphy is drawn to drawers. You never really know what you find in these drawers. The obvious is always cleared out. Where a lot of times they forget to look is behind drawers and underneath drawers. For more than a decade, he's been dusting and discovering little gems in places like this. So this is a gossip bench. You know, it has a shelf here for the telephone, rotary dial, of course, in this area. He finds mostly mid-century modern pieces of furniture. Every vintage piece has a story. It's been somewhere, it's been through something. The credenza in the back. On this day, it was a rare haul. Four finds. And he lovingly restores them for resale at his Ravenswood Furniture Shop district. About 50% vintage, 50% new. All of the vintage pieces we take to our workshop, restore them and bring them here. So by the time they get to the store, you really can't tell what's old and what's new. He hauls the pieces back to his workshop. This is typically where I would find something. A dried flower, that's all we got out of this one. Where he sands the rough edges under the rumble of the L. Once the prep is complete, the paint is stirred, poured, and rolled for the rebirth. This primer that I use has an adhesive in it. It glues to the wood and the laminate top makes it really durable. The outside of a piece is pretty, but the inside can be priceless. Sure, he's found knickknacks and tchotchkes, but he's also found stamp books and a keychain once held by the number one grandpa. Old coins to um, old nylon, women's nylon, still in the brand new packaging, to uh, photographs, lots of, lots of photographs. That's probably the number one thing that I find in pieces is photographs. And some of those photographs are beyond simple snapshots. You know, I realized I had something special. They are high art. This one here, you can see Marina Towers in the background, a lot of old buildings and water towers that are no longer there. The image is a distant mirror reflecting Chicago's past. But a very different Chicago than we see today. There's an early times building in the back with old style bourbon on the side. There were two that I found that I realized I had something. This is one of them because it's so iconic. Wabash, retro style kitchen, a vintage stove. I'd love to find out whose kitchen this is. And this is another amazing one, the Picasso statue. I love this because it's obviously the unveiling. There's a police guard watching over it. There's a lot of great vintage Chicago landmarks in here that are viewed so differently because this is 60 years old. I want the world to see these, or at least Chicago to see these, because they're really special photographs. All right, we're ready. 
and he's now developing them through a special printing process at the Studio 312 in Bensonville. Father and son team Wayne and Tim Giroche produce poster-sized prints through a process called sublimation. Using specialized ink and a heat press to infuse the artwork into special glossy chroma board or aluminum sheets. It's then peeled as the photo is revealed. It's Chicago, it's real Chicago in the 50s and 60s in many different perspectives. But it's really his perspective. You ready? Yep. Seen hanging in his shop. Why don't we move this? Among his restored furniture. An ability to see past the flaws and find hidden history. For Chris Murphy, when one drawer closes, another opens. These pieces tell a story of the way Chicago used to be. It's amazing, it's something to hang on your wall and be proud of because it represents the city that we all love so much. In Ravenswood, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Well, if you would like to see a gallery of all of those amazing photos, we have a link to them and to the District Shop website on WGNTV.com. And by the way, if you know who the original photographer is, any of those photos, we would love to hear from you, Mike especially. Amazing.